morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. I realized we didn't really get to do any of our video stuff yesterday because Ms. Jessica is having a lot of technical issues. So that's why you're missing a meeting for the 10th and a reading for the 10th as well. But hopefully this all works out. All right, let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday was Tuesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday, then today is what? Yesterday was Tuesday, then today is Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. So today is Wednesday. The month is August. What number? There's a one and a one next to each other in any order. That makes number 11 or 11th. So today is Wednesday, August 11th, and the year is 2021. What season are we in? It's still summer. Yeah, for about one more month, month and 10 days. All right, what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. When I look outside my windows here at school, I see that it's sunny outside today. Yeah, it's a sunny day. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you are a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. All right, take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice. Even if we're upset, even if we're angry. Now you take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. Because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay, too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right, while it was short, it's time to go over how we're feeling. Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited or are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. There's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. Awesome job. How is this just feeling today? Well, I'll tell you, I was pretty frustrated yesterday because none of my technology wanted to work for me, but I'm feeling a little bit better today because it seems to be okay for now. I'm a little tired today though. 
it's true. I'm tired because um, I've been doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to make sure I get my rest and you know drink my water and eat my food and just take care of myself. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last 17 months almost. It's a little bit every day. Of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school, but I'm still a little sad because I miss you and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm tired today, and I'm a little sad. When I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we will all be back together and we're just gonna have so much fun and we're gonna work so hard and it's just gonna be the best when i think about all that that makes me really really happy it's true thinking thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy that is what i focus on because you are my happy place all right but with that meeting is all done uh, I am going to do a reading video. We're going to at least start chapter 12. Um, and then please remember, we do have our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting every single day. Today, I believe we are playing some Disney bingo. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Wednesday. And I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.